what's going on? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. <clears throat> I really appreciate you guys making a little time to watch the video. Definitely uh, thankful for that. And today we're going to be talking about the Bass Pro uh, Tour, MLF Bass Pro Tour, and the uh, the likelihood that they're going to move to a five fish limit instead of the scoreable bass. They're, they're basically taking a poll right now uh, to uh, make that decision if they're going to do that. So I'm going to give you guys my some thoughts and opinion on that and some other things with the Bass Pro Tour. And real quick, just wanted to give you guys a weekly reminder. If you haven't had a chance, please swing over by Fish the Moment and check out our new fall lake map breakdowns. Man, we got a bunch of good fall lake map breakdowns uh, on the website there. We can build you a personal breakdown. Uh, you can also check out the new Bass Fishing Declassified uh, YouTube channel, which is brought to you by Fish the Moment that I'm involved with as well. So uh, check it out there. Much appreciate it. Okay, guys, I don't know if you've seen it, but a couple days ago, the MLF Bass Pro Tour came out with a poll whether they want to keep the five fish limit or go to the scoreable bass. <clears throat> guys, I can tell you right now, without even seeing the poll, that they're going to be going to the five fish limit on there simply because ever since, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty plugged into the fishing industry and the people that watch and pay attention to the fishing. I have never heard anybody say that they like this whole scoreable bass, you know, weighing as many one pounders or two pounders as you can. Every single person I've ever talked about says they want to see the biggest five fish limit. So I don't know what took MLF so long to make this change. They haven't announced that they've made any change, but I can almost bet you guys I'm 99% sure this change is going to take place. And I, my question is, is why has it taken so long? It's like it's, you know, the, the public has, has obviously been against the whole scoreable bass deal. It just, it, it, it just doesn't appeal. I mean, people like to see the five big, biggest fish. They just, they, that's the tradition of bass fishing tournaments. And that's just the way that people want it to keep it. Now I will give, you know, the Bass Pro Tour, a big hats off in the MLF. The, the whole idea of the live release, that the having a marshal on the boat and weighing the fish and turning them back right there, I think that's great. I think that every tournament organization should do that. They should have a marshal, weighs the fish, put them back in the lake. That's from a conservation standpoint, that is absolutely the the best thing to do. And I think that Bass Pro Tour has really, uh, you know. They, they've really set a good example with that that other tournament that organizations need to follow. But overall, the whole deal with the Bass Pro Tour, guys, we've talked about this before. You know that I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of it simply because the way that they initially picked their contestants, there was no qualification. They just, they just hand-picked a bunch of dudes out they wanted in there and, and created a circuit with no qualification. I didn't think that was right. Um, and another thing about it is... I can't keep up with the thing. That that whole Bass Pro Tour is so complicated. They have so many ins and outs and qualifications and knockout rounds and red crests. I, I can't keep up with it. They got so much stuff going on that it I mean I just think if it was if they simplified everything and you've got six tournaments and something like the end of the year championship, I just think it'd be more appealing. I've heard the same thing. That's another thing that I've heard from the, the general public is they can't keep up with it. They don't know what's going on. They don't understand all the different, you know, aspects of that circuit that goes on. It's too, it's too complicated. It's, it really is. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I can see this coming. They're getting ready to move to the five fish limit. Uh, you know, I have no doubt in my mind, it's going to be a good move for them. Um, they, like I said, they, I'm, thing that surprises me more than anything guys is just how it's taken so long for them to ignore the the public opinion on this thing because all they had all they've got to do is throw questions out to social media or go to a bass tournament go to ask the co-anglers what do you guys like and they would have overwhelmingly seen that so tell me what you guys think let me know shoot me some comments get a conversation going here guys and much appreciated for tuning in see you